Man, my love for this show grows with every go-around. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, everybody. You can ring in the new year with the world's best-selling sparkling wine, Prosecco. Who knew? Nathan Elliott knew. He's yeah. here from Il Salito. You're the lead bartender at Il Salito, I am, right? absolutely. All right, so he's here to talk to us about why Prosecco is now sort of the number one choice overall, and it's a great option for New Year's Eve, for sure. Yeah, well, champagne is still popular as well, obviously. Uh, Portland happens to be the champagne capital of America. Um, well, we have, Portland. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we got to go big in every opportunity we can here. Yeah. We drink but, quite a bit here. Yeah. yeah. Well, every day. Uh, but with um, Prosecco, it's a little bit lighter, maybe um, not as intense sometimes for some people, and they really like it. And at Il Salito, not only do we like to pour a glass of it, but we also like to make cocktails out of it. So um, we get, you know, have a little bit of fun behind the bar as well. Okay, it's really interesting. And yeah. what we're just saying, and I think, I hope, I think most people know this, or at least I thought I had heard it and you just confirmed it, that yeah. the difference between Prosecco and Champagne is what? It's regional. Uh, just where so, it's from. Yeah, Prosecco is going to be from Northeast Italy, Champagne from France. So, um, And there's a lot of other different sparkling wines that exist out there as well. Some from America, some from Spain, such as Cava. Uh, but like I said, you know, El Salito, we try to keep it Italian. And why do you think it's surpassing Champagne? Um, I think some of it could be cost. Uh, Prosecco is yeah. a little bit easier to get into as far as price-wise. Uh, even though Prosecco is the number one selling uh, as far as units, uh, Champagne is a little more expensive so they actually bring in more money uh, overall even though they don't sell as many units so. it's so sneaky yeah, yeah, yeah. i know all right we'll interesting well i don't yeah. know if you know this but our staffers often join for the last segment and Perfect. it's rare that we get three volunteers well, but we have alcohol here today <laughs> yeah, exactly. and so everybody was just like apparently raising their hands into the newsroom guys yeah. do you want to come in here we, and then we'll get into we were shamed the, into it yes, we, we were, were shamed into, into it i'll take yeah, whatever so, you got yeah, I'll yeah. Take yeah. Whatever. yeah. 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 <laughs> absolutely so we have two cocktails here Oops. what are these and i'll let two of them choose these okay. and then we'll make a third so these are there are so many different sparkling cocktails that exist out there but a couple of our favorites uh this is the negroni spagliato or essentially just a sparkling negroni so if you like a negroni to begin with this is perfect for you um it's going to be gin a little vermouth Campari, and we're going to top that with, uh, in this case, Prosecco. This is another one of my favorites. I'm more of a whiskey guy, a uh, classic cocktail called the Sealbach. Whiskey, a little bit of triple sec, bitters. We're going to top that with some bubbles and a little bit of orange to finish as well. So both super tasty, super fun. Great. And we're showing yeah. photos right now from Il Salito, by the way. Excellent. Um, based on the descriptions that you heard, do you guys want to have like a street fight to figure out who gets these two drinks? Or <laughs> it's how all going to be about arm wrestling. Yeah. I'm going for the Negroni. Go for it. All right. Get there. it. All right. And who wants drink number two? I'll take it. Claudia, right. well done, my friend. All right, Absolutely. so Lisa over here on the Cheers, end. Your eyes are so big right now. Your face is so happy, and I'm loving it. I'm feeling and like I should just hand you a bottle. You're making a third cocktail. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We don't have to talk about that. No, uh, we're yeah. making a third cocktail for yeah. What are we going to make? Uh, so this is going to be called the Barra di Giorno. It's actually a cocktail that's on our brunch menu at El Salido. And I'll have you start because we're yeah. running a little Beautiful. low on time. Go right absolutely. ahead. Absolutely. So a little bit of Aperol there for okay, you. Cool. A little bit of grapefruit yeah. juice. Oh my goodness, Lisa, I'm so And jealous this is of kind of the key component. We make a house made limoncello, and mm. you're not going to be able to get it like this anywhere else in the city. So, a mm. little bit of ice. Yeah. Going to give that a quick shake. Oh, did you see that? That was so effortless. <laughs> so jealous of his Many, skills. many years of practice, right? <laughs> Top this off, we're going to hit some bubbles on there, and then you'll have a nice beer de giorno to enjoy. God, the color is so beautiful. Oh, oh that's pretty. Yeah. Yeah. You know what's fun about this is that Lisa and I actually share a birthday and our birthday is coming <laughs> up. And so this can be like an early celebration. It looks like a birthday cake, to be honest with there you. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> cheering right. is cheering. Let's pass that over there to Lisa here. Il Salito, I'm assuming a great place to Cheers. celebrate New Year's Absolutely. Eve. I'm going to pass that to her. No, you go ahead and you it's take that. <laughs> All right, Nathan, thank you so yeah, much for thank joining you. My us, pleasure. everybody. All right, Cheers. so Prosecco is the thing Cheers. to drink on New Year's Cheers. Eve. Yeah. Thank you all for joining us on tonight with Cassidy. Have a great night. We'll see you back here tomorrow.